That's just too Oh, this run. Get him, bunnies. Should we third party the Apocryton? Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and take some flake mood. So the Apocryton summon took out like a hundred animals and uh, a bug hive. We're not gonna light on fire, but that sure is a lot of grenades. Did you blow up the chip? The pigs threw so many grenades it blew up the chip. So that means now we need to do another Apocryton and it's going to have a bigger wave with it. Wow. That sucks. Well, at least that's taken care of, I suppose. Freaking pigs. I should have just kited it and dealt with it myself. We're helping. Can't rely on those pigs. Yeah. That's our ally this time, though. They took out the uh, Breacher as well. Man. They did some work, unfortunately. Some of that we didn't want them to do. Oh, well. I have to do it again. Next one will be even more enemies, so we'll probably wait on another Bug Hive. I think the Bug Hive would have taken them out had um, it not had to fight other stuff first. And then uh, once we are done setting this up, we will switch over and start working on getting bandwidth for our Scythers. Scorchers... Two Scorchers take, like, nothing, so... I'm going to start building from the middle. Oh, I don't know. There's a, there is a mod that makes them build more intelligently that I think should be baked into the, the, the game. Um, there's a mod, like, like, let's say you wanted to fill this in and you do this. In RimWorld, no matter how you put this, if you just let your pawns do it, they will just build randomly and they'll build, build themselves in. But smart construction, they'll actually build from this side out. And it, they still screw up occasionally, but way less. That should definitely be the the default AI in the game. Unusually clever. Get in here. Tribal. Okay. Get the... I'm going to move this. Yeah, I'm going to move this down here so we can uh, swap in and out. Down here at the shooting area. Is it all melee? Oh, I could have went out and kited and saved these traps with all melee. Oh, well. Might still should do that. That's to be friggin' annoying. Like, hey, where are all these doors? This is some kind of Scooby-Doo episode. Guys going in one door, coming out a different one, somewhere else in the hallway. There's a dog chasing him. I don't know what's going on. Well, you're dead now, so. Goper. Goper, I already have two people to brain scan, you know? Human revenge. Good luck without a head. What is this? This is like a marble now. Like some kind of... I don't know. I don't know what crap that is. <laughs> he had a brain. He used to. And once the once those two setups are done, I'm going to start mass farming. So we will be using this against some raids, mainly when our scythers need to recharge. Toxic fallout. We might want to get rid of these prisoners. We can survive off the little bit of food that's already here. We can always get more prisoners. So our character doesn't care about the toxic fallout. He's got some um, some genes. He doesn't really care about it. But, uh, you know, the plants do, and I don't want to make a sun or a sun lamp. Toxic fallout on average lasts like six days. Our mechanosaur would be fine during that period. So we'll probably just kill these two. 
Siege. Uh, go. No snipers. Okay, we outrange. Good. I could have cheesed this one, like, before. I showed some people. I showed you guys how to do that in on the last map, but... Oh, nice shot. Guy's name's Lucky. What do they have? Ah, uh, we're fine. Oh, what? You didn't run and close that door? Well. Hey, not my mech helmet. Oh my god, we're right near the edge of the map. Go, go, go. We can go, Juice. And then we missed that shot. There's the mech helmet. I accidentally left the door open. I didn't mean to. And the one item I really didn't want them to steal is gone. Because now I need two more Ocarton just to get another one of those. It's been worse, of course, but... Man, did I set that? I did set it. I just apparently, when I shift-clicked, I didn't run him back all the way. Oh, well. We'll just have to get a new one, I guess. Well, we did get uh, barrels, right? We got a barrel. How do you get the Apocriton? So the Apocriton, you have to build, um, you have to build the mech band dish to summon one. They can just appear as well. Takutron, that's a different thing. Um, they can just appear in raids, but, uh, you can summon one with a mech, mech band dish. And every time you summon it, the raid that comes with it is bigger than last time. So we have basically infinite chips as long as we keep killing it but you know it's or it's gonna get more and more difficult to do mech raid a breach okay so another breach that's just gonna patrol over there let me double check our beds yeah uh we're good we're good which toxic shells do anything toxic shells uh it's actually surprising how fast toxic stuff builds up in ponds that don't have genes or anything you can down other humanoid ponds like tribals and whatnot with toxic gas pretty quickly so um, it, they're fine. Like, you can set up kill boxes re, uh, revolving around, like, toxic grenades, for instance. I'm guessing you could put some, like, toxic I IDs into the shells in the back end of, the, of a kill box or something to start damaging and downing enemies while you're you're engaged in a firefight with them. So, I mean, they're they're usable. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually surprising how fast the toxic gas, I, I mean, it makes sense when comparing it to real life, downs people. All right, slowing tunnel will be done. We're gonna need more bandwidth. My friggin' helmet's gone. I could have just put my hel helmet on. Uh, for now, we'll just put a node down. And I want to get the geothermal next to you. We're gonna need a lot of steel. Let's give the scorchers their names. Uh, lore, Lord, Lordly. Okay. All right. Next thing. Oh, uh, what are you guys doing? Let me wait up the mech cluster while they're here. Things are back. Why didn't you guys send this kind of weaponry to the Apocriton fight, huh? Said you blew my chip up. Oh, well, there's not that many of them left. Maybe I shouldn't have woke in the uh, cluster. We'll go help them with it. Oh, the smoke. Gut worms? Oof. Oof. Is it possible we got 
gut worms and luciferium was at the timer where it was about to heal something and it healed it or did i misread that disease gut worms i got it 100 percent oh i have bionic stomach or um not bionic stomach um yeah the uh oh god what's it freaking called i, I, I should have read the whole message de 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 sterilizing i kept wanting to say detoxifier sterilizing yeah okay completely forgot that we actually got one of those installed it's like last week when we did that Okay, so mech cluster is basically done. These two terrorists will get taken out. I mean, we could we could take care of them too if we really wanted, but we need to start thinking about getting the um, the blender set up. I'm trying to decide how I want to set up this uh, Scyther blender thing. So I think I'm going to do the quad blender. I'd be like, what the crap's a quad blender? We'll see. Something that I came up with a long time ago. I'm sure other people have independently done it as well, but I have not seen it. A raid. Um... Okay, it's a prepare for a while. We need to take this out. I need to go get go juice too. A third group up there, okay. Uh, the first group dropped components as well. Okay. Got lucky that was all Scyther. Okay, uh, so to get the Scyther, we have enough for seven Scythers as far as the standard subcore. We're gonna need more steel and components uh, and more bandwidth. We can make the pack, of course, which we will we will do. Um, we also need to make a fabricating bench sometime. Design similar to the singularity. Which one would you use and how? So, I've actually tested that a whole lot. I was testing that while I was making some guide and stuff last night. And the unfortunate thing is every single friendly mech uses a weapon as if it was normal quality, which isn't great. Um, and... All the, the accuracy on every single one of the mechs you can get is pretty abysmal. But if you're going to use one in the singularity, your best bet is actually Militor and then resetting often. Uh, they don't kill fast enough anything except for like early tribals maybe in order to only have one, unfortunately. So you, you have to keep resetting. Militor worked the best in the in the singularity. I tested everything. Uh, he, every kind of mech that can shoot and uh even with cheesing it further militor seemed to be the best in that the best combination with cheesing it and making like the cheesy kind of kill box was actually a combination of militor and lancer if you're not doing like scyther stuff militor and lancer now there's also some really crazy setups you can use with the diabolus that i'm thinking we might use for part three of the arco nexus i think it'd be pretty fitting to have the big super super mechs if we can get enough of them um, for part three of this part one we use small mechs and kiting part two we're gonna use a lot of scythers and part three maybe some of the ultra heavy mechs wish singularity with lancers work well i tested it they don't so the problem with the wish singularity one the the super tunnel is what i'm calling it in the guide i think is what is what i coined is that things have a lot of um unlike in the singularity things have a lot of cover as they're coming through and then also as soon as any piece of it breaks it no longer works. And Lancers aren't that accurate. It feels like it when you're fighting them, but they're not. You can actually go into dev log and, or dev mode and see their exact chance to hit. And their chance to hit at medium range is something like 35% for your friendly mechs. It's something abysmal. And then you have the cover on top of that. So they end up missing a lot. You end up breaking one of the components that need to be there for the box to work. And then things just overrun you, so... Lancers only accurately against you. It feels that way, yeah. Feels that way, but they're not. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, so the same thing applies to that. You just have to reset often. You can make it work, but you just have to reset more often than you would if you had pawns. What it comes down to is that a lancer has the equivalent DPS of an awful assault rifle. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> when fighting gets raids, actual DPS is about the same as an awful assault rifle and doesn't have as long of a range. Crazy.
How's the military shotgun tunnel? Military shotgun tunnel is okay. It's a little worse than it used to be. It's okay with um, scythers and um, tunnelers doing the melee blocking. Yeah, it works okay. It's not bad. Not bad. It's pretty easy to set up too. Uh, Militar are the most accurate mech other than like special abilities in close range. It's crazy. I put, um, I cheesed having 40, was it 40 pikemen shoot in a singularity type box last night with dev mode and a normal group of impids overran them. Like 3,000 points of impids overran them. So friendly mechs, at least on 500%, are just pretty, pretty terrible for their cost. <laughs> that really sucks. Cannot believe they destroyed that chip. Let's see. If I want 20 scythers, that's 40 bandwidth. And then we want probably another like 10 of the worker mechs. So we want about 50 bandwidth. We did it. We destroyed the mech cluster. We've done this. How are we going to get enough power for all this? How much power do each of these take? 300. So if we go with band nodes, we need 600 watts per scyther. 10 nodes for geothermal, so 5 scythers per geothermal. Yeah, it's not too bad, and we're already not really using this for much else. And we got two more that are close by. So even if I want to wear, like, marine helmet to be safer and not to lose my accuracy, we can, we can get there, I think. Oh, God. Oh, they're right on me! The instant I go outside, immediately, Randy's like, nope. The first time that we're going to use the burn box in this run is going to be uh, <laughs> against these. I mean, in this in this settlement, I should say. The Majestic Guinea Pig Swarm. Mech Breach. All right, I won't go outside. Jesus. What I'm worried about is Breachers spawning up here and then going straight through the, the base to get over here. So I might end up using the Tunneler to cheese the edge. Really don't want to take that much time to do it, but might have to since I didn't build in the middle. Probably do a mountain ma map or a coastal map on the next one, so I don't have to worry about it. Our new tunneler, Gordon. What would a schedule of transhumanists look like with their sleep faster thing? You can either use biphasic or you can use all anything. All anything is usually pretty good for anyone that's um that has very little sleep need. You recognize that shape? Yeah, not many people have watched that full run because it's not edited. I want to use it with Scythers. There's a second version of it that I came up with as well. I think I'm going to show both of them. And then we need this to be a little lengthy eventually so that I can reset if we need to. Does one need to take the roof off? No, it even works under under Overhead Mountain. It, it's more efficient with the roof off if you're on a map that's not hot because then the door keeps resetting to the outside temperature. But you can even use it on uh, an Overhead Mountain. Uh, we got to think about getting these other geothermal sometime as well let me just go ahead and put these i'm not gonna make them yet but this will make it easy to like zoom out and see the ones that maybe we can get to but yeah i mean that's enough geothermals for all the mechs we could ever want with bandwidth nodes and we don't even have to uh i might actually get him a marine helmet what a weird structure what could this be for this termite appears to believe that there is a bed here we're, be we're being breached. Raid. What weapon does this, this one have? A club. Shotgun. Okay. Hey! Christ. Jerk. People with clubs and shotguns raiding us. Yeah. <laughs> this advanced mechanator. That's a low Randy roll, huh? That's way less raiders than some of the more recent raids that we've had. It's like a minimum Randy roll or something. So I don't want these to escape. I don't want to keep getting their um their brains. So I'm going to stall peg leg left, stall peg leg right. Uh I'm gonna turn myself off of doctoring temporarily. I'm not borrowing them, I'm liberating the brains. <laughs> They end up fighting any of these mechs down here? Uh, that Lancer's a little beat up. Yeah, so someone was down there. Oh, surgery failed. Come on, little bot. We got that 2% fail. I forgive you. Just try again. There you go. There you go. Good lord. We failed again. 
Don't worry, just keep go keep going. I forgive you. God, it's so awful. There we go. And now remove left leg, remove right leg. There you go. There you go. All right, so now brains will never be able to escape. Excellent. God, we are we are quite evil. Typical Rimworld run then, right? Combat supplier. So don't look in here, okay? Nothing to see here. So now these prisoners will never be able to escape, and we can just scan their brains forever and ever. Unfortunately, now someone has to feed them. But we have a medical bot for that. It's fine. Hey, we don't need the flowers anymore, because who cares if they're happy? Let's, let's put down something much nicer. I don't know, maybe like the loving embrace of concrete. Flowers are for people that can walk. Wow, that's really... That's, I'm going to get some some emails for that one. I'm just talking about RimWorld, all right? Okay, next steps. Uh, we want to finish this off. And then, does large maps actually break the game like it warns? Not really. There's just, there's two things. One, it hurts performance a lot. The bigger your map, the more things are being processed all the time. It can slow down your game. You can get really lower, way lower tick rate in the late game uh, with bigger maps. And the second thing is, if you don't use a lot of zones, you can run into an issue where pretty much they can have a job where they're going so far out that they're already queued up to do it, they'll ignore their needs. And that's the thing that it's really talking about. They'll ignore their needs, and so they can have, like, breakdowns or starvation and things like that where they could have prevented it, but they're locked on a really far uh, job. But you can solve that just by using using zones correctly. Now, there are some advantages and disadvantages of the big maps, aside from those things, aside from, from performance and whatnot. Uh, so, some examples are, in the early game, if you if you get a siege and you need to go attack it before you have your own mortars, but the siege is really far away, it can be really difficult on a big map, right? Because you have to go further out, your pawn's going to have worse mood, you're going to have to run back home further if you can even pull it. Uh, on the other hand, though, you can have something like a toxic um, a defoliator ship fall, and... Defoliator ship's poison ring only goes 100 tiles. So if that defoliator ship is, is somewhere that, um, that it's not going to ever reach your base, you can never get another one. So you just leave it alone on big maps a lot of the times. So there's pros and cons. Um, again, like on a bigger map, raids and manhunters are going to take longer to get to your base. So you have more time to, to prepare and figure things out. Um, yeah, there's pros and cons. But the biggest con I would say is that it hurts performance, especially in the late game. Yeah, so my favorite map size is 275, which is the big side of, uh, of medium. It's the, it's the one notch up from the baseline. And this is the 275, which I, I think is a good uh, I think is a good size, at least what I prefer. But if, if you don't mind the tick rate suffering in the late game, then big maps are generally more positive than negative. Like, you're going to have more geothermals, you're going to have more material. Uh, you have extra rolls for ancient dangers. Like, there's a lot of good stuff with having bigger maps. It just really hurts the tick rate power turret in that uh, contraction single file i'll probably go out and cause collision on my own at this stage i might put a turret here though just so i don't have to worry about it on my own but i kind of want them coming in here not single file so if we want to burn them all at once we can uh yeah we finally got the random friendlies here we are thanks pigs uh so we will now take advantage of that and we will put these three lifters as unrestricted. And Gordon Lightfoot is unrestricted as well. And let's uh, let's mine some stuff. What is it? It's a breach. All right. Well, whatever. It's fine. What flavor is the goju? Green. There's the exotic goods that we called in. We're going to trade with them. And then we're going to go uh, start mining some plasteel. Uh, do they have a skill trainer? I didn't even check for that. I was looking at, uh, other things. Yeah, they do have it. Could we get it, though? I mean, we don't really have that much left to trade. We're gonna, after we get a few scythers, we're gonna start, uh, pushing wealth a bit, but... Not quite there. Yeah, I get the plasteel, look at the scythers. Don't think it does us any good. Auto mortar. Oh my god, it's gonna fire already. I need to get him... Is this a... That's not active. I need to get him in this so he doesn't actually get bombed here. Friendly is either going after the friggin' breach.
Oh my god, take out the pikemen. There's so few left. We just need them to hold long enough for us to get... Is that... That's high shield, okay. To allow us to shoot this... Where is it aiming? <laughs> it's like, I know what you're going to use that for. How do you know? I've never seen one of these. Stupid mechs. Good. Way to go, pig. You are attacking the only target we care for you. Yes. Way to go, piggy. Way to go. Stop calling us piggies. That's what you are, though, right? It's like a term of endearment or something for you. Come out. Oh, he shot his weapon off. Nice. Nice. Okay. Follow me in. Follow me in. There you go. Come on. Right through that door. Oh, you jerk. Oh, he got an extra shot through that. Nice. Uh... Centipede Blaster in 0.3 days. Um, do we have a frag grenade laying anywhere? God, I might give him go juice and just go after it. Yeah, the centipede's gonna pop out in just like no time at all. I don't even know that we can get down there and deal with it in time. I had to kill some of these. We're pretty. Oh, another shell hit here. Ooh. I have to wait until the centipede's up. Um, if it comes straight at us, we can deal with it. All right, all right. Whoa, I forgot that was over there. Ooh, good thing I heard that. <laughs> hey, I'm back out. Crap. That's a little bit too dangerous. Gordon, it's time. What, I get to go mine more components? Not exactly. Steel? Yes, you get to mine steel. Let's go. Way to go, Gordon. Crap. Wow, Gordon. Gordon didn't even take any damage. Way to go, Gordon. You're a hero. I'll let anyone tell you differently.